it's Allison. I hope you're having a happy day so far. So the time has come for me to do a closet declutter and clean out and do a little Marie kondo and look at everything and make sure that I'm only keeping things that bring me joy. I really have been collecting so many new clothing pieces, which is such a blessing and something I love because I love, love, love clothing and fashion, but it's gotten to a point where I have too many things. So I'm gonna be going through everything and figuring out what I really, really wanna keep and what I want to donate. So I'll show you guys my closet setup and I have a little clothing rack in the corner of my room that's kind of like a display and decor piece, honestly. So I kind of want to rework that and it's going to be fun. I've been putting this off for a while, but I'm finally in the mood to do it and I'm going to take you along with me. So hopefully you will be inspired to do this as well. I think creating a clean and fresh space is so important and maintaining that is so important. So. That's what we're gonna try to do today, and let's get to it. Okay, so this is the little before situation of my clothing rack area. Definitely not ideal. I've just kind of been piling up clothes right here that I tried on and I was too lazy to hang up. And I also purchased these new hangers from Ikea. Ugh, come on, come on. Um, they're these pretty just wooden natural hangers and I'm gonna put these on the rack. I have some white plastic ones, which are great, but I kind of thought these would look a little nicer and more put together and it would just help the whole rack look more mindful and thoughtfully designed. So I'm excited to use those and then of course I'll just use these white hangers in my actual closet. So let's head over there now. This is my husband Brandon's side of the closet. He keeps it very clean and organized and anytime I buy him new clothes, he always gives away like one of um, one of the same thing that's older. And also this little random <laughs> thing we used to, it's like a toy he's had since a kid, but it's honestly so practical because if we can't reach something, we just use that. So <laughs> kind of funny. And then this is my side of the closet minus all of his shoes, which he kind of has a lot of shoes, right? <laughs> So funny and then I have my shoes down there and some more over here so they're kind of out of whack but I also have a ton of clothing just like piled up here so it's definitely not ideal right now I cleaned it in the summer I believe and it looked really nice and I organized it by like my coats sweaters and blazers and well okay these are like more coats and then these are blazers and then these are sweaters I don't really know but I kind of color coordinated it as best as I could but it's definitely not perfect anymore and I really just need to go through it oh wow I need to clean this mirror speaking of cleaning yikes okay that's better <laughs> so my plan is I'm gonna go through the clothing rack first because I'm honestly just really excited to get that looking all pretty and I'm gonna make one pile to donate and then one pile, I guess that's it. I'm just gonna make a donate pile. Um, and then if I'm gonna keep it, I'm just gonna hang it up right away. Oh, I just, I just remembered this as I'm talking to you. I also have these drawers. Oh, and hello, missing sock pairs. So sad. Like, does anyone else's dryer just eat your socks? I have no idea where the little pairs are. Maybe I'll find them in this clean out. But these drawers are, this one's not that bad because this is just like my sock drawer, so I mean. That's pretty much as clean as it's gonna get. But I can like roll up my jeans a little nicer. But my pajama drawer, like I can't even open it without opening the other drawer. Like it is sad, it is very, very sad. And the same for my workout clothing drawer. Like not cute, Allison, not cute at all. So we're gonna tackle the clothing rack first, right there, hello clothing rack. And then we're gonna do our drawers because I feel like those are my top, top priorities. My closet, like I said, isn't ideal, but like these two are what's really bothering me. So we're gonna do those first and then we'll head to the closet. Okay, so I'm gonna open my hangers. Actually, I should probably take everything off of the clothing rack first. I definitely wanna keep this big knitted sweater on the clothing rack because I love just the texture of it and how cozy it makes our room look. It's like a blanket, essentially. Like you're wearing a blanket so i want to keep that out and i'm definitely going to keep that too because i love it 
And then my pink blazer. I also really love this. Oh, and I have a t-shirt under it because I was like too lazy to get its own hanger. Um, I love this pink blazer. I love all my pink blazers. You guys are going to see. I seriously have probably 10 different pink blazers in various shades. So maybe that's a little excessive. I don't know. Pink blazers are kind of my signature. So we might need to just keep our collection. And if I call it a collection, I think that makes it accept acceptable after all. So we'll see about that. And then I have this sweater dress from Express. It's seriously one of the softest pieces I own. It's so, so cozy. Definitely keeping that, but I don't really need to display it anymore. And then I also have this fun little dress. It's like a tight fit dress that's from Express. Super soft and cozy. I don't think I need to display it anymore, but I definitely want to keep it. And then I have this dress from Boohoo, which is adorable. It's like this cute cheetah print dress, but it is kind of short on me and I'm just not that drawn to it. So I think it would serve someone else better. So I'm going to give it a new home. Okay, then we have this turtleneck sweater dress in like this pretty tan color. And I really like this. I wore it for one of my Thanksgivings, I think. Um, but I don't think I'm going to wear it until next fall, probably because it's a very fall look. So I'm going to keep it, but I'm going to put it in my closet and then I have this white turtleneck that is from Express and it is so comfy I love it it's such a great basic definitely gonna keep it but I don't really need it on display anymore so many turtlenecks I have this other white turtleneck dress from Princess Polly it's a great dress in beautiful quality but I don't think it's the most flattering on me it kind of hits me in weird places I think it would look better with a belt maybe but I think because the material's thicker, it doesn't look that flattering on me. I'm not sure. So I think I'm going to give it away and someone else can enjoy it. And then I have this pretty dress from Princess Polly. It's like this linen, super casual, flowy dress, almost like a t-shirt dress. And I love this dress. I wear it so much. And I've been so into neutrals lately. Just like ugh, spring fashion is my favorite. Just like neutrals and flowery print. Like this flower shirt I'm wearing from Princess Polly. It is just the best. So I definitely want to keep that. And I may put that on display. We'll see how crowded this gets. But... I do wear it a lot, so it would be kind of convenient to have, but it's not a priority for the clothing rack. Okay, next up we have some major hot pink. After just saying I'm so into neutrals, we have this like bright pink set from Boohoo. Yeah, so we have the pants. Oh, and then we have this dress, and then we have this like, so, okay, let me show you. We have this pink dress from Boohoo. I literally feel like Barbie when I wear this. It is so, so fun. And part of me wants to keep it because like, what if I ever want to be Barbie for Halloween, you know? But I don't know if that's the best way to live, honestly. And I don't think I'm going to wear this that much, even though I love, love, love pink. I really love like more of a pale pink. That's kind of my vibe. So I think I'm going to give it away. I feel crazy giving it away, but it's good. I did have a moment. This is always hard for me, though, because I always, not always, but I'll have these moments where I'm like, shoot, I wish I kept that, you know? Like, even last night, I was going to my friends to go watch The Bachelor, and I had this old, these old pair of just house slippers that um, I recently threw away because they were, like, dirty and stuff. No one wants them, but... I wish I kept them because I wanted to wear my slippers to her house and I did wear my slippers these ones I wear around my house all the time but like I felt kind of weird wearing slippers outside of my house but if I had those older pair like it would have been perfect so but you can't live that way you just have to live in the moment and you know just do what feels good at that time and live with no regrets so we're gonna live with no closet regrets and then this Set, this these pink pants and then pink blazer I am gonna hold on to for a little longer and see if I wear them like in spring and summer because that is very like summery stuff um but the blazer dress I think there's less of a chance of me wearing that so good stuff okay so we have the clear closet so nice I do have my headbands up here too I don't know if I want to move them into my like a drawer in my bathroom instead with some other hair things or if I should keep them up there. 
I definitely want to keep my purse hanging up though because it's so convenient. I just always have it there and I always know where it is. So we shall see. But for now, I'm going to hang up these little guys. from princess polly on top of my poof um and i really do want to keep like my newer pieces that i want to get some wear out of on this shelf like i said but again i do want to put this little guy so i'm gonna go ahead and hang this up but i really need to steam these pieces as well so i'm gonna do that but i'll just leave them hanging for now and then steam them later I hope my pieces are able to kind of stay on these hangers because they don't really have like a big dip for little straps and stuff, but I think they should be okay. incredibly excited to wear this skirt let me show you the buttons are undone but hopefully you can tell so it like buttons up like this but it's the sweetest little floral print it's from princess polly and it is absolutely darling and i've tried all these pieces on already so i know like they're good to go because that's another thing like whenever you get new pieces you want to make sure they really fit you well and you love them and you feel confident in them i also really love this dress and Brandon and I are going on an anniversary trip soon because our one year anniversary is in a month. So we're going to a tropical place. So I'll definitely wear it there. But it is like kind of bright for our room because it's so bright red. I'll hang it up for now and kind of see if I like it. But when you have clothing racks like this in your room, you kind of want the clothing to kind of match your, your color scheme and aesthetic. So this might go in my closet, but I don't want to forget about it because it's so darling. You know it's getting serious when you pop on a high pony. <laughs> okay, upon further reflection, this cute little dress is gonna go up here. Cause I have room for it and I just love it. Also, when you're kind of curating your clothing rack, personally, dresses like this, even though I love this dress and I don't wanna forget about it, so I will keep it on my clothing rack for now. After I try it on and do like my little haul in it though, I'll probably move it to my closet because I love when clothing pieces have like fun sleeves for your clothing rack because when it's on the rack, like you can barely even notice it. It just kind of gets buried into the rest of the pieces because it doesn't have those sleeves popping out. So I don't know if that makes sense, but that's kind of like my clothing rack pro tip. I decided I really like the headbands here. I think they add like a cool little texture and color to the rack. But I am going to take off this piece and put it in my drawer that I keep other hair accessories because it is a little bit more darker. And I am getting into spring and summer mode so early, but I'm a Florida girl, so that's just how I am. shirt from boohoo to my rack because I love just the pattern of it I haven't even worn it yet but that's a reason why it should go on here another reason why it should go on here too as a little reminder that I want to wear it soon and take photos in it because it's such a fun piece so down here this clothing rack has like a little space where you can pop on some shoes on the bottom of the rack and I keep some of my most recently worn shoes down here are just ones that I think are beautiful, like these leopard ones. Like I really, I wear these a good amount, but not, you know, they're not my everyday shoes, but I just think they're so beautiful. So I like to have them on display kind of, but these, even though I love them, they're not my most recently worn shoes or really my most beautiful shoes, even though they are gorgeous. These are from Express. I recently got these like chunky, chunky, chunky white sneakers from Princess Polly and they are so fun. Let me know what you guys think of the chunky white 70s sneaker trend. I also got these cute little socks to wear with them. They're like these little scallop socks at the top and 
I just love it. It's definitely a mood when I put on these shoes. It just puts me in a fun mood and I feel so trendy, but I'm gonna keep them there for now because I just feel like I'm gonna get a lot of use out of them, especially in the spring and summer. So now that we got that sorted, I'm gonna take all my extra shoes to my closet and find a home for them and then tackle that little pile. Okay, I pulled out my sock drawer and I'm gonna go through this. I also keep tights and stuff in here and I know for a fact that there are like pantyhose with tears, so that greatly needs to be gone through. And then I'm looking at my jeans and I also have more pants and jeans in my closet because I can't fit them all in that drawer, um, but it's okay. But I have these old Zara jeans that I seriously have worn for so many times and I used to wear them to work all the time because they're like a nice dark wash but I have these newer express jeans that are virtually the same exact thing but these are even comfier and better quality and this one since I wore it so much it got this like hole in it right there so I'm gonna give these away and then keep my Zara ones and I honestly forgot I even had these that's why it's so important to do this also, this is the storm before the calm. The pile on my bed is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay, this is where we are with the socks. Look at how much room I have in this little box. <laughs> so good, I only have one cami. I need to get more white camis. I need to add that to my list. Also, this is so sad. This is the pile of lonely socks who don't have a pair. I'm very curious to see if any will show out, show up once we start organizing some more and going through the drawers. Also, I rolled up my jeans and I really love the way this looks. Let's see how long I actually keep them rolled up. It's a little tricky because I have like two pairs of jean shorts and then Let's see how many other jeans I have in my closet. Oh my gosh, here's just like a random boot. My yoga pants. Oh, I remember these jeans. I think I'm gonna give these away. Yeah, so this little basket here, it's nice to have this basket, but I have like pants in here. I do have some just plain black pants, which is good for like work events. And then I also have this really old pair of jeans and it's always good to keep at least one pair of old jeans in case you're ever like doing home projects or volunteering. So I do need to remember to keep these even though I barely wear them. Okay, I pulled all my PJs out and I truly forgot I even owned some of these pajamas. Also, some of this isn't even pajamas. So yeah, this truly is much needed. So I'm gonna go through this. And honestly, some of this stuff is so old. I don't even think I'll be donating any pajamas. I think they're like so beat up that it's just time for them to go in the garbage, which is sad and seems wasteful, but like no one. <laughs> No one deserves to wear them because they're so old. Okay, now I'm going through the workout and t-shirt drawer. And I'm sure everyone can relate, but there's always one spot of your home or your dresser that is just stuffed with like random and sentimental t-shirts. And I feel like it's so so hard to get rid of certain t-shirts because you have that sentimental value to them or you know like they're just so comfy to wear but like you don't even like them that much. I don't know. It's always so hard for me to get rid of t-shirts, especially all these from school, like from UF and college. I don't have any high school ones anymore, but like college is different. You you rep your college. You're an alumni from your college. Like something's different about it. It's more special, at least for me. So I don't know, it is tricky, but I literally do not need a whole drawer of just t-shirts. Even though I do love wearing t-shirts, I don't wear them that much to justify that. Okay, 
friends, we are really, really making progress. This is still filled to the brim, but at least it is less chaotic. I put all my sports bra in sports bras in this little corner and then I rolled up all my leggings and yoga pants and biker shorts all that good stuff put that here then I put my t-shirts I still have so many t-shirts but I just can't bear to part with them and of course I have my magic jewels here merch ones on top and some of my other favorites and I like just the color scheme going on here so we did good there and then this drawer is looking really, really nice. Hopefully, I still haven't found all these um, pairs, but hopefully they'll show up sooner or later. And then here, the pajama drawer is still very, very full and still catching on to this, but I basically live in pajamas. I wear them as much as I can, so just gonna keep them for now. Okay, friends, I'm starting to run out of steam, but we've made such good progress. I'm feeling so much more refreshed and organized. So my drawers are done, my clothing rack is done, and now we only have the closet left, which is the majority of it. But I need a snack or something because my energy is fading. And I think I'm just, for now, I'm going to just go through and f like fix this bench situation because this is just like not it. And then I'm just gonna do a quick walkthrough of everything. I'm not gonna like try everything on right now. I'm just gonna do a little walkthrough and just see what I really, what sticks out to me that I like definitely don't need anymore. Oh, but while we're here, let's count how many pink blazers I have. Okay, I have one, two, three, four. This is a jacket, but this is one, five, Six! I have six pink blazers. And some people would argue that this is pink too, but I think it's more purple. This one is my first pink blazer ever, and I barely even wear it anymore, but I don't think I can ever give it away because it's like sentimental to me. Because it was my very first one. Okay, so I'm gonna go through everything real quick, clean up that bench, and then I'm gonna re reward myself with a snack. is a big old pile of all of my giveaway clothing. Okay friends, that's all I have left in me for today, but I hope you enjoyed this closet clean out and decluttering video. I hope it was satisfying, satisfying and it provided some inspiration so that you can declutter. It definitely takes a while, but the outcome is totally worth it and you can donate or sell your clothes to people who will appreciate them more since you've gotten your use out of them. But Thank you again for watching and I'll see you soon.